let us have a look at the JIGL new syllabus exam is just over today. I will give you a brief overview about the question paper. We will not make it long just to give you a brief analysis. So first things first, this is actually not a very difficult paper. Yes, if you have studied reasonably well, this is not a difficult paper. Before I go to some of the questions, what are the quick takeaways for students who are writing the exam this time in new syllabus? You can expect lot of case law questions, first thing. Second thing, application of the concepts. So you have to apply, that is application of mind. When you know the concepts, you apply, you can write the answer. The questions are framed like that. So you can expect something similar in the other law papers which are going to come up in the CS executive new syllabus. In general, for students who are not writing in this December but maybe writing in June of next year, understand that the entire JIGL paper or the overall of executive, they are testing your application of the concepts. You do have a lot of direct questions but lot of them are application of concepts. And the next takeaway is that there is a very good mix of direct questions and case law questions. Case law questions are also in such a way that if you have studied the book well, you are going to write the answers. And one thing which I observed after reading all the questions, nothing has been asked outside the syllabus. So, student cannot come and tell, sir, this is outside the syllabus. So, you don't have to worry about that. So, if you have studied well, you know the content of ICSI study material, you will be able to write the answers well. So, these are the quick takeaways. So, study well and know the entire ICSI material. Apply the concepts, know the concepts in depth, you can write the answer. Let us look at the style of the questions. For instance, the overall is you have, there are six questions you should answer all that we know very well. So, in the first question, they have given you a detailed uh, case or they have given you detailed facts. They have given you assumption about uh, a certain scenario. I will not go in detail right now. After the exams, we can have a detailed analysis right now just to give you a brief picture. So, they have given that. So, when you read all this, you will understand the question, you will understand the facts, you will understand the scenario. But interestingly, the questions are quite direct. What is criminal defamation in Indian law? So, the question is actually direct. So, you should connect the question, the facts which have been given and then write this answer. Then, what is anticipatory bail? Then, they are asking you about what is slander. Then, they are asking you where wrong has been done to the person, what is the jurisdiction of the court? Then, what is the meaning of defamatory words? So, these are all actually direct questions. What is the time period for limitation for compensation in defamation? So, you have different concepts relating to defamation from different angles they have asked because in the real life tomorrow, this is how when a situation comes, we are going to solve. So, they are asking one scenario in different angles how we are going to solve it. So, this is a very good type of question. So, if a student has studied reasonably well, they should be able to answer this. So, and again, the next question is about judicial precedents. Judicial precedents again is a very basic concept in JIGL and they have asked the concept and the style is, it is a 5 marks question. So, first they are asking you what is a judicial precedent. After that, they are giving you, determine and explain what kind of precedents it is. So, they are giving you two scenarios. So, application of mind. So, you should read it and write what is the kind. So, I am not going to go very deep into each type of question, but giving you an idea of what to expect in the other law papers also. If you have studied well and if you can apply the concepts fairly well, you will be able to write the answers. So, again, few more case law questions are there, scenario questions are there. So, if you think that, sir, what only case law questions are there, do not worry. If you see question number 4 or 4a, so question number 4, they have given you a certain circumstance and you must decide. So, for example, under Limitation Act, limitation period for filing particular suit is 3 years. When the limitation period commenced, Akash was minor, that is 13 years. Due to legal disability, he could not institute the suit. Decide with reasons whether Akash can file the suit on cessation of the minority. So, it is actually a direct question. So, about when the minority will uh, cease, can you file the case and whether the defamation, sorry, whether the limitation period is over, can they do it. So, it is actually a direct question, but they have given it in form of a scenario or a case law. 
then they ask about information technology act then we have another case law question but if you see question number 4a see here you have 4 or 4a you can answer 5 marks question 3 questions are there explain the grounds for setting aside arbitral award under the arbitration conciliation act extremely direct question if you have reasonably studied the icsa material or any coaching material whatever you have studied reasonably well this is a very simple direct question you can write this and they are asking you to explain the ground so all the grounds you can explain next question explain the concept of verification of e-stamping so what is e-stamping second is what is verification of e-stamping again 5 marks question direct question so the question paper has a good mix of case law application and also theoretical based direct questions as you can see so you can choose this 4a and write it next another about information technology act they have given legal framework for electronic governance by giving recognition to electronic records and digital signature often digital signature is considered synonym to electronic signature under act is it correct to consider both as same again simple and direct question you know electronic signature is difficult a different uh, digital signature is different so you have to write about the token and all those kind of things we will have a separate video where we solve the question paper we give you answers today just the exam is over i'm giving you a brief idea of what are the kind of questions are there what to expect for the other papers and also if you are somebody who is writing uh, june 2024 or after that also you will get an idea of the type of questions they have it is definitely not a difficult paper that is what i was very happy to see if you have prepared with icsa material if you have gone through all the chapters you can attempt 100 marks over here yes some questions may be difficult some questions may be easy for every student including person who is going to get a rank some questions will be difficult for them and some questions will be easy and that happens for all of the students who are writing then they ask about right to information act again see here we have direct question so rti act specifies manner in which request may be made by citizen to authority for obtaining information discuss very simple very direct question so what is the different manner where request can be made for obtaining information what are the different methods you have to just write what is the procedure for commencement of conciliation proceedings under the arbitration conciliation act how many conciliators can be there in this proceedings again direct question so if you have studied the act you can write the answer there is nothing difficult or impossible again it is five marks questions then they are asking about the cpc also there are pretty direct questions then we have uh, some case law questions and case study questions which is there and finally we will conclude with a few more direct questions over here so when we look at all of this when you see all the questions over here what is the summary which i told you in the beginning also when you look at all of this it is not hard you just have to study all the chapters understand the concepts yes you have to spend time you need time to understand concepts but you can and if you are somebody who are writing the other papers this time please don't get worried you are not going to get extremely difficult or extremely out of the box questions but you will have a mix of uh, theory based direct questions and case law based application questions and one very interesting thing here is the question is pretty long in the first question they have given pretty long but later the questions are pretty direct the questions are not extremely difficult or extremely they are not asking too much of application of mind also so with this i just want all of you to say that please go write all the exams no matter how easy or difficult this paper was for you no matter how especially a student who is writing first attempt it is very easy to lose hope it is very easy to feel that i'm going to fail it doesn't matter go write all the papers give your best in all the papers because right now we should do what is in our hands we can't do anything more than that at least now after exams you can think but now go write everything you are not going to get a paper which is unbelievable or you can't attempt any question you will have one set of questions at least there will be 20 30 marks where you can write very well and the other questions may be medium difficulty and some may be very hard so overall attempt for 100 give your best you can do well so like this i will see you in the next video all the best for your future exams